Welcome to the next part of our tutorial series on Smart Atom for 3ds Max. In this video, we'll explore the tools and features of the face rig, which includes two types of setups, the bone-based system, which uses a set of bones, control helpers, and connections between them, and the morpher-based system, which relies on morph targets driven by an intuitive interface. For the first part of the tutorial, we'll be creating the bone-based face rig. I'll be using this character as an example, but you can use your own character mesh to follow along. The scene already includes a rig template for the body, and now we'll add the face template to complete the setup. Let's select the rig template, go to the Modify panel, and in the Face rollout, enable the Face checkbox. This will activate the face template, displaying a set of points for the different areas of the face, such as the eyes, the eyebrows, and the mouth. In this rollout, you'll find several properties such as the number of controls and bones for the eyebrows, lips, and other facial features. For now, we'll stick with the default values to keep things simple, but feel free to adjust these settings to add more detail to your facial rig. Next, press 1 to enter the sub-object mode. Select the template points of the face, and let's match the proportions of the character's mesh. Take your time to ensure the points align accurately with key areas like the eyelids, the eyebrows, and the lips. Don't forget to adjust these points that are used to define the positions of the control helpers of the jaw and the tongue. You can also disable the draw on top checkbox and affect children, so you can match the points closer to the surface of the mesh using different points of view. And for the eyes, make sure they align perfectly with the center of the eyeballs. Once the template points are set, click the Create button to generate the rig. The system adds bones and control helpers with several connections and curve IK solvers to guarantee smooth positioning of the different elements. Finally, skin the mesh to the bones created by the rig system using the skin modifier. Adjust or paint the weights of the vertices to ensure smooth deformations. Make sure the eyeballs also follow the movements of the eye bones. Now with all of this, we can see how everything is set up. Some of the controls can affect different parts of the face, as we can see here with the corner of the mouth. With this, you don't have to animate everything manually. We can see here, for example, how the eye movement actually affects the eyelids. And here is a basic animation done with this rig. Now for the second part of the video, we're going to create the morpher-based face rig. I'm going to use a character that already has a set of morph targets prepared. If you want to know the exact list of morph targets that have to be created, go to the link provided in the description of this video. To begin, select the rig system and make sure the face checkbox is enabled. Then, select the morpher radio button. You'll still need to adjust the template points for the eyes. Those are the only elements of the face that are still going to be based on bones and helpers. Once the setup is complete, click the Create button to generate the rig. The rig system will create an intuitive UI panel filled with sliders, each corresponding to one or several morph targets. These sliders provide a more intuitive way to animate the morphs directly. The rig automatically connects the sliders to a modifier on an object that is called Morpher, so we need to copy this modifier to the character's head mesh. This ensures that the UI panel sliders directly control the morphs applied to the character's geometry. Now assign all your morph targets to the morpher modifier in their respective position. After this, we only need to assign a skin modifier to the head of the character and assign the bones of the head, the neck, and other bones that could affect the deformation of this mesh, and then adjust or paint the weights of the vertices properly. You also have to make sure that the eyes of the character follow the movement of the respective eye bones. You can do so by just linking the eyes directly, or you can also use a skin modifier. This makes the character's face ready for animation. Let's use the UI panel sliders to see how it works so far. The intuitive interface makes blending between expressions seamless, giving you full creative control over the character's emotions. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to explore the other features of Smart Anim 
and experiment with combining its tools to push your animations even further. See you next time.